Hey guys, today I am filming an update on my grief journey. I filmed the first video in February and now it's September, so at this point it's about a year and a half since my dad passed. A lot has happened and changed in this month. I have to say I feel a lot better and I think a big part of it is because of the healing that has taken place for me since my session with the medium. As I said in that video, it's one thing to know that your loved ones are with you, but to literally feel them there and to have proof of their presence is magical and very therapeutic. Personally, I've found a lot of comfort and peace in that. I think I had the closure I needed. I had so many questions about everything that happened and my dad gave me the answers I needed. I'm now working to establish a more solid and possibly more authentic relationship with my spirituality, my dad and my lovely friends that support me from the other side. And I find this amazing. If we continue to believe and think that death is the end of it all, we don't give ourselves the chance to learn and be surprised. We put up all these walls and our life, our awareness stops there when there is actually so much to do from here for our loved ones on the other side. If I look back, I don't even recognize that person. I'm just so different today. I think I'm a much better person and I hate to say that because I wish my dad were here. I don't like anything of what has happened. There has been so much pain and suffering and it has been relentless. I wish it were different, I wish it were easier. I wish I had understood what I know now through love, joy, excitement and not through hell. But I guess now I understand the value of the experience. I've always been very empathic, but only if you experience certain things you can truly understand what it is like. And in this sense, I see now why sometimes we have to go through such horrible things. For example, when I was at university, my roommate one day said she had to rush home because her dad had died. I remember feeling so bad when she shared the news. I was shocked and I was so sad for her. When she came back a week later, I tried to be there for her, but I had absolutely no idea what she was going through. I didn't see it back then, but now with the lived experience of the loss of my dad, I can tell that my perspective was quite shallow, although I cared about her and I felt generally bad for her. Or another example, years ago I had no idea what it means to push a wheelchair, now I do, and when I see someone in that situation, I try to give a smile to the person that's pushing the wheelchair and the person that's sitting on it. And I try to see if they need help with anything, if they need me to hold the door open for them, or if they need help with the bag they're carrying. I have this awareness and empathy now because of my lived experience with all of this. I find myself today with more trauma, pain and scars than I'm comfortable with, but I have developed an awareness and a level of empathy that I didn't know before, and I'm thankful for it. My vision is a lot more clear now. A layer of fog and confusion has dissolved. Now, more than ever, I know what matters in life and what doesn't. And I can truly and deeply connect with the pain of so many different people, especially those who are in a brutal fight like cancer. And to me, that's an honor and I wish more people saw it like that. Especially in the healthcare field, I have unfortunately noticed the opposite, a total lack of awareness and empathy. And that pisses me off and breaks my heart at the same time, but I'll talk about it in a separate video. One last thing I want to share is an interesting episode that happened months ago. I was walking down the stairs and I have a window that goes into the street in front of my apartment. I look outside and I see a man standing at my gate with the same body type and hair as my dad. And for a second, just a second, my mind went, 
oh, daddy's back, and said that out loud. I can tell you the joy, the excitement, the happiness that I felt in that moment. I had forgotten what being happy feels like, and in that second, I was so happy. A second later, I realized that it was impossible, and I was so sad and disappointed. It took me days to get over it, days. This episode made me realize that I can go on, I have many responsibilities now, I have a family to take care of, many things to do, many goals to accomplish, a big project to carry out, and I don't think I want to give it up, but my heart, my soul is up there. Thank you guys for watching, I would love to read about your own grief journey in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Holy Spirit